What's going on everybody? Matt Steinman here, day number two with the starting a successful blog. Um, so you should have already watched day number one. It involved a couple of steps. You have you know a little bit of homework here, a couple questions to answer. I'm gonna go over those briefly. Um, for some of you that may have just jumped straight to this video, I want to have you go back to day number one and watch that because there's some important steps that you need to take before starting your um, starting your WordPress blog and having it be a success. Um, so I'm going to share my screen here. Just run through day number one really quick. Um, you should be you should have this filled out, ready to go. Uh, so I call this your larger than life contribution. So um, you know you filled out your why, your vision, uh, what kind of difference you want to make in the world with your blog post. You should have also written down your goals your one month, three month, and six month goals. Um, let's see, choosing a niche, niche, whatever, however you wanna pronounce it. Some people pronounce it differently. Um, there's some questions here to answer. There's a couple keyword research tools that I recommend. Um, hopefully you use those to find some, um, you know, to find your niche. Uh, and then the checklist here, make sure you check these off before you go on to day number two. Um, some of you may have just jumped straight into day number two on day one. Uh, again, there's not a, a ton of homework, depending on how much time you have. Uh, that's up to you. So this is day two content. So we're going to be researching other blogs in our niche. But first, we want to you know find those keywords, grab those keywords that we found in uh, those tools that we used, either SEMrush or Uber Suggest. Uh, I'm not going to get into the actual the tools quite yet. Um, but there's a table here that I want you to fill out with your keywords. So there's two columns here. There's a two word keyword. So for example, if you're doing affiliate marketing or online business, you would just use those two, uh, the two words in the phrase. So affiliate marketing or online business. And then I want you to also find three to five word keywords or phrases. Uh, those are called long tail keywords that we're gonna also use down the road. Uh, and that'll help you, you know, ranking in Google and, you know, kind of pinpointing your niche a little bit better. Um, so those are things like affiliate marketing for bloggers, affiliate marketing for, um, you know, stay at home moms, affiliate marketing for um, fly fishermen, I don't know. Uh, you wanna define that niche and, get, and pinpoint those specific people, your target audience. Uh, there's another example here, online business tips. So online business uh, strategies, online business tips for beginners. Um, look for those longer keywords uh, that we can use in your blog post that'll help you down the road. Um, and I even put up here, start ranking your blog through Google, Bing, and other search engines quicker. Um, so we're gonna use these tools, SEMrush and Ubersuggest, like I mentioned above. Um, so let's jump right into one of those really quick here, just so I can show you. So we're going to use the affiliate marketing example. This load here. So this is Uber Suggest. So you can see it has a pretty good search volume here, 40,000 searches per month for affiliate marketing. So what we're gonna do here is scroll over to these keyword ideas. You're gonna get kind of a split screen here. So uh, over here on the left are keyword ideas and over here on the right are kind of the, uh, the websites that are ranking for these terms over here. So you can click on each one of these terms and it will show up over here on the right hand side. But what we're mostly interested in it's not these high volume keywords. So this is 40,500 searches per month with a SEO difficulty of 47. So what we're gonna aim for, uh, and you can actually filter out for this. If you go up here to the filters, let's aim for a search volume of at least 400 and a SEO difficulty max. I usually try to do 30 to 40, uh, but just starting out, we're just gonna do 30 go down here and hit apply and you can see we still have some pretty good search volume here um, and some pretty good SEO difficulty because we we targeted the high end of the difficulty to 30 so 
You can look at some of the ter terms here. So affiliate marketing Amazon has 2,900 searches, 21 SEO difficulty. Here we go, F uh, affiliate marketing for beginners. This might be a good one, 1,300 uh, search volume per month and then a um, SEO difficulty of 24. So what we can do over here is um, it's listing all the Google results for affiliate marketing for beginners since we have this clicked here. So uh, we can open up each one of these tabs. You know, if you want to click on it, you can see Neil Patel, who is the creator of this Uber Suggest tool. He is ranking for uh, affiliate marketing for beginners. So you can go in and see what his blog post is about. Uh, you know, click on each one of these, see what um, see what these um, creators, you know, whether it's a person like Miles Beckler, Beckler he's a uh, very well-known affiliate marketer, um, e-commerce guy. So click on those, see what's, you know, resonating with you, see what those people are writing. Uh, and then there's also these other tabs up here, which he just added, and Neil just added to this tool. Uh, I'm not sure how effective they actually are though quite yet. So so here's the questions tab, how affiliate marketing. So if we click on that, it's a pretty good search volume here, 880. How affiliate marketing. So how to start affiliate marketing, uh, first affiliate marketing sale, affiliate marketing, you know, all these different terms. So I want you to go in here and use that. Um, Find your keywords, your two word keywords, and also your three to five word keywords. So fill this out, very important for your long-term success. A couple tips down here for you that I kind of mentioned. Uh, you wanna look for site domain authority. Okay, so I didn't go over domain authority. Let's jump back into this Uber suggest here. Um, so this is the domain score or domain authority right here. So 91, these are, these are pretty high. Um, all of these are pretty high actually affiliate marketing is uh, so here's one 49 so let's click on this guy see what he's see what he's got going on here what is affiliate marketing and how does it work okay so you can kind of get an idea of what these people are writing about what their blog post lo looks like so this guy's got kind of a an infographic in his what sort of income you know just get an idea of what other people are writing on it might spark some other ideas in your head who knows but that's the keywords for now uh okay another bonus tip here i forgot so if you want you can go into google we're going to use this all in url search so there's an operator here so all in url so again if you're doing let's use a different example here let's say fly fishing so if we type in all in URL colon fly dash fishing, it's going to find all the sites across the internet that have fly fishing in the URL. So most of these are probably, you know, they're going to be articles, they're going to be blogs, all of manliness. So this is a pretty popular site that talks about fly fishing. So you can kind of get an idea here. If we go back, let's not block that I'm just gonna close this down here the um, so if we go back to our search results here so you can see all these different URLs or websites with fly fishing in the URL so let's use another example here so if we're searching for uh, basket weaving so these are all the websites that have basket weaving in the URL so Pinterest here, Amazon, basket weaving, Detroit news, you know, you can, you can see what kind of articles these people are writing about. So that should give you an idea, you know, of finding these keywords and then also, you know, finding out what your competitors are doing with those keywords and their articles. Okay, I'm gonna stop rambling. This is the last one, um, choosing a domain name. Most people get hung up on this. They spend days and weeks sometimes trying to figure out a domain name. Uh, it does have some importance, you know, whether you want to create a personal brand or more of a, a corporate like agency kind of feel. Um, so in my case, I'm writing all my content in, you know, sharing value on mattsdiamond.com, which is my blog, but I'm running my, 
all my uh, you know uh, marketing stuff digital marketing stuff through my business which is armor marketing um, so I have massdiamond.com and then armormarketing.com. I don't really do much with armormarketing.com. I'm more of a, a personal brand, getting my face out there. So depending on what kind of, what avenue you want to go down, um, and, and kind of think longer term as well, because um, if you want to expand out into other areas, um, so for example, myself, I, I do mostly like affiliate marketing stuff. But if I want to expand out into like social media marketing, email marketing, uh, I can talk anything really about digital marketing and online businesses with my domain mattsdiamond.com because I'm creating a personal brand around, you know, creating an online business affiliate marketing. So uh, keep that in mind. And then there's a recommendation here for a domain name generator. This is through Shopify. Um, it actually comes up with some pretty good names and that, actually I'm going to add another one here to this document um, once I'm done with this video but uh, just a note here do not actually register your domain through Shopify this is just to um, kind of come up with different names uh, give you some ideas and generate your uh, URL uh, we're going to go over how to register your domain and set up your uh, WordPress website probably in tomorrow's video um, so, so for now, just, you know, research your competitors, um, and choose a domain name that you're going to be happy with long-term. And if you want to, again, choosing a broader term domain or a more specific term domain. So keep that in mind. I uh, hope this video was helpful for you guys, and we'll see you tomorrow on day number three.